Welcome back, Golly Vibes family. So, I've been wanting to touch on this story about the whole blackout in Paris after the whole Olympics buffoonery. You know, mocking the Last Supper, mocking the Lord. Um, so, there was actually a power blackout, claimed social media users, a day after city was battered by rain and transport system was brought to its knees by, pro- by protesters. But here's the interesting thing that I don't think nobody has been talking about, right? During the power outage in Paris, notice a thing that's still fully lit, sacred core church. Zoom in on the dark photo, and you can see it pretty much. That is remarkable. Check it out. Wow. I didn't even see that until right now. Look at that. So during a dark city, there was still light on the church. Look at that. Wow. You could see it. That's truly amazing. Boom. You see it? You guys see it? Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Yet, I don't want to, listen, look at that. I didn't realize I had all these pictures. Wow, that is amazing. The Lord is good, amen, the Lord is good. Not only that, but it's like a a shining coming off of it. Like a, wow, like a glare or something. That's That's remarkable, oh my goodness. So, not only that, you guys, but the opening ceremony video was deleted off YouTube. (laughs) I mean, there's been a whole lot of backlash going on about this whole situation with the opening. This is what it actually looks like. Um, They deleted it like yesterday. I don't know if it's still deleted, but they, they deleted it yesterday or it wasn't available. Hallelujah. Um, they shouldn't have did it in the first place. You know? You know what happens a lot of times when people get in trouble? They're only sorry because they got caught. Same thing happened with the Balenciaga people. They were sorry for all the pictures they were doing with all the children there because they got caught. So they wanted to mock the last time. They wanted to let an artist in who mocked the Lord, and then they were sorry. You also got different people who were saying that Different things were held up, you know, skateboarding, tennis, all kind of different things because of the weather, you know. Um, and this is that blue guy who was on the actual table. Like, it was the last supper table, and he came out of the the pot or whatever that was in the middle of the table. Crazy, guys. Absolutely mind-blowing. In Paris... Egyptian darkness took over on the night from Saturday to Sunday. Numerous photos and videos from the French capital appeared on social media. They show the streets of the multi-million metropolis were completely dark. Services are explaining what caused the blackout. The published materials on the web show that streetlights were not working in Paris and buildings did not have power, according to the reports. In the media, the power outage was supposed to be short-lived and occurred in several districts of Paris. However, there is no official confirmation of what exactly happened. They don't know what happened. It just happened. The Olympics began in Paris on Friday. Thousands of athletes, journalists, and tourists are in town. Reports indicate that the power issues appeared around midnight. The exact cause of the outage is still unknown. Wow. So they have no idea what happened. Lights just went out. They're out of order. You know, light speaks of order. Hallelujah. Let there be light. Let there be order. Light speaks of order. They were completely out of order. They're completely out of character when it comes to God. You know, causing confusion. Causing confusion on an international scale. Now, here's the crazy thing. I want to show you guys real quick. Remember Brazil? When Brazil had the little parade and they had Jesus crawling on the ground, they had the devil 
like with a pitchfork over Jesus right here or dragging him. That was 2023. That was Brazil. Now you have the Olympics in 2024 also mocking God. Why do they always mock God? Why do they always mock the Lord? Have we not been over this? Have we not discussed this? It's a spiritual battle. The spiritual realm knows what the truth is. What is the truth? Jesus Christ. So, of course, when it comes to mocking a religion, they're going to mock truth to make you feel nonchalant about it. That's why they put Christ in a whole lot of different movies and they say Jesus Christ in a whole lot of different scenes, making you feel nonchalant about the Lord. If something bad happens or if you don't like something, Jesus Christ. You get what I'm saying? They, they, they try to engraft that into your mind. So that's how you can feel about the Lord. It's just natural. It's just normal. Nonchalant. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have any effect on you. That's what they want to do. It's brainwash. It's brainwashing that they're doing to the gullible minds. This is why it's important that we get into the word and the Lord gives us the armor of God. Hallelujah. But here's what I want to show. You have mocking in Brazil. 2023, yeah, mocking in Paris, 2024. But what happened the next days? Oh, there was a flooding in Brazil, and there was a power outage in Paris. Boy, oh, boy. Stop playing with the Lord. Stop playing with the Lord. The Lord will take down your city. Boom. Take down your power. Flood your streets. The Brazilian flood was terrible. I even showed y'all a different spirit in one part of the one part of the city when that happened. Terrible. They want to continue mocking the Lord. And then when things happen, they want to uh, be sorry. Boy, oh boy, man. The, 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 the way that the world is going, it's like, my goodness, like, what's next? That's the that's the true question. What next? is next 23 24 the lord ain't gonna keep having this you get what i'm saying the lord ain't gonna keep having this he didn't keep having it with sodom and gomorrah why would he have it now and the world is on an international sodom and gomorrah level if it can do that at the Olympics and the Olympics is a worldwide event where different teams of the best the best players on different teams from different countries come all together to compete for a worldwide title truly when you win at the Olympics you are truly the best in the world and this is how they choose to open up disrespecting God I ain't going to have it too much longer, you guys. But I, I mainly want to show you guys both of these. You know, don't mock the Lord. It's not going to go well with you. It's not going to go well with you. May the Lord intervene in a lot of these different people's hearts. They had children on stage dancing with these men in dresses. Dancing with these half-naked men. Kids on stage. Confusion and corruption diluting the minds of the youth. It's absolutely disturbing. May the Lord intervene. Hallelujah. May his glory come to earth. Amen. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, I thought it was pretty outrageous. But um, may the Lord intervene. Amen. God bless. Shalom.